As she stood to face the circle again, she thought of all the celebrations that would be taking place tonight at the more public sacred sites, like Glastonbury and Stonehenge. People would be performing old rites, dancing, singing and paying homage to the goddess that is Mother Earth. Oddly enough, the atmosphere surrounding the stones no longer perturbed her. On the contrary, it seemed to welcome, even beckon her towards the center. So she ventured into the middle, dragging her belongings along with her. Close enough. Tori dropped her things where she stood and took off her boots. The potent energy of the place intrigued her, so she sat on the ground in the lotus position. The back of her hands rested gently on her knees and her thumb and middle finger met to form a circle, aiding the circulation of energy around her body. She closed her eyes and took three deep breaths to achieve a relaxed, peaceful state. Her attention was drawn to the sounds of little night creatures. She inhaled progressively deeper, focusing her thoughts on the hooting of an owl close by. Tori had become so engrossed with this sound that she did not notice the light around her growing steadily more intense. This often happened when she meditated. Colours would emerge in her mind, intense colour at times, but never before had the light been so white for so long. She continued to breathe deeply, imagining that she was inhaling the brilliant white light throughout her body, and it filled her with a sense of strength and well-being. The owl stopped hooting, and Tori became aware of a faint humming, like the buzzing in your ears after a rock concert, only this was more melodic. It gradually increased in volume to the point where it bothered her and she was compelled to open her eyes. The white light she thought she had imagined truly surrounded her and appeared to be exuding from the ground within the circle. The mist rose towards the sky to form a large billowing cloud. From within the larger stone, a ball of blue light, no bigger than a coin, made its way towards her. What is it? A fairy, perhaps? She'd never actually seen one, so she couldn't dispel the possibility. In her study of these stones, Tori recalled that scientists had documented sightings of this light phenomena. Some said it was caused by geological and electromagnetic factors, but the energy involved was so exotic that it was not yet understood. Others suggested that it could relate to consciousness itself, considering consciousness as a field effect, like actually seeing the equivalent of what the Chinese refer to as qi energy. The sound of laughter then began to filter through Tori's head and it sounded suspiciously male. This irked her and she looked around for its source. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? She asked. The laughter rose again, only clearer now. Tori drew herself up straight. Show yourself. I'm not afraid. The light was still for a moment. Then in the blink of an eye it darted towards her, almost touching her forehead. Tori's limbs froze, and she began to feel faint as the light penetrated her skin.